Hey guys, Elena here with Bear in Mind Planner Company. Thanks so much for joining me today. I love that you guys are enjoying all the videos I'm putting out. And today I want to do a 80s theme, uh, maybe stickers or washi tape or maybe a combination of the two. And so I was just looking on Pinterest and found some inspiration. This I just searched 80s geometric pattern and there are tons of colors and patterns in all different kinds. This one is, you know, the opacity they were playing with there. There's lots of shadows behind and uh, stripes and polka dots. So let's jump into it and see what we come up with. So if you are new here, please make sure you take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you can be notified for upcoming videos. And let's jump into this. So like I said a minute ago, we are checking out geometric patterns for some inspiration and these are a ton of fun. The other thing you can also get inspiration from is the color palettes that are in here. And pick something that just really jumps out at you. I really like these kind of a pastel neon. Those are a lot of fun. You can go a lot brighter, maybe something like this. This is more neon color. That looks fun. Why don't we grab a screenshot of that? I'm just going to take a screenshot. Uh, I have an older iPad, so it's the power button and uh, the circle button there. So I'm going to jump over to Procreate and I'm going to insert that photo. And I'm just going to crop this real quick here just so I have the photo by itself. There we go. And put this up in the corner. Now I'm going to create a color palette with this. And we are going to go to our color palettes here and I've already added another color palette just by hitting the plus sign. And so it'll create an empty color palette. And so now I'm just going to hold over a color and get that eyedropper and grab some of these colors so I can use some of them. And like that neon yellow, gosh, that just pops, doesn't it? Hot pink, I love that. And then of course we've got the black. So let's go ahead and hide that, hide the other one. And as you can see, I've just gone in and I will make all of these visible and show you what I did here. And I just created a bunch of shapes. I took that inspiration from the Pinterest board and I just created a bunch of shapes that I thought I could play with, have fun with. I really had no rhyme or reason on where I was going with any of these. Um, I just knew that I wanted a bunch of them so I could play with them easily. And so this does not take any artistic skills whatsoever to just draw some lines, draw a triangle, hold it, it will snap straight lines. If you, you know, didn't come all the way over and you've got a little gap after it snaps straight, just fix that with your pin tool. These are just simple dots and I used my monoline brush that I have uh, messed with the brush studio. Usually I keep this somewhere in the upper 40s to 50s streamline and then if I need to mess with it, I, I can. This is a, a duplicated monoline brush and that's the one I mess with. Anyways, the original monoline brush, wherever it's at, maybe it's in calligraphy, there it is. I never messed with this one. I just duplicated it, threw it into my favorites, uh, made a new library for my favorites, and then I can mess with them from there. That way, if you ever wanted your default, you can always go back to, uh, you know, a default brush. So, so that's how I got uh, all of these shapes done was using my monoline brush. And now I kept each of them on its own layer. That way I can go back and move them, play with them, change their colors. And I did it this way also so I can duplicate things as I make a pattern or uh, do something, you know, 
creative. Maybe I just want to stick her with two of those shapes. And so that way I can use, I'm going to keep these as my master. And so from there I will play with them, okay? If that makes sense. But you'll see what I mean by that. So I'm going to go ahead and just hide all of these so I have a fresh canvas to play with. And not really sure where I want to go here. We'll just start with this one here on the bottom. You have to select it if you want to move it around. And so, like I said, I want to keep this as a master. So I'm going to duplicate it and then I will hide that master file. And so with my duplicated item, what I can do is use two fingers, swipe it over, I'm going to alpha lock it, and then I can choose any of my colors that I want. I'll stick with this pink, and go back to my layer, click on the layer, and hit fill layer. And now I have a perfectly filled layer uh, with that shape in there. And so let's go grab another shape. Let's do this one, I'm gonna duplicate that and then I will show the duplicated image. I'm gonna master lock it, or alpha, I'm sorry, alpha lock it, and then I'm gonna choose another color. I'm gonna choose this purple, and then fill layer. And so I'm just gonna go through and bring in a few of these shapes that way. Okay, so I think this here is a really good start to a fun pattern that we can play with and use for some stickers and some washi tape. One thing I am going to do is I remember back from uh, our Pinterest boards is there's a lot of shadowing with that black and so you can tell a lot of these use that um, effect so I want to bring that into this as well. So let's do something like, let's see, that is that square. Nope, that's that square. So I'm gonna duplicate this one and grab black and fill the layer for that one and move it under. And now I can move this down and over. And now that I've done that, I think maybe I wanna change those blue squares to maybe a black shadow instead. That's pretty fun. <clears throat> that gave it a lot of dimension. And so we can also fill in our background layer as well. My disc here and Maybe see about a light pink, maybe like that baby pink. And I'm just gonna go over to my background color and choose a baby pink. There we go. That's fun. That really makes everything pop off the page, I feel. So from here, we can create different sections of this to be a part of a washi tape or a sticker. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to go to share and I'm going to save this as a JPEG. And I'm just going to save it to my images. And now I'm going to grab a new artboard. And this is where I can create some washi tape or some stickers. And you know, sticking with the theme still of the 80s, everything was really simple and geometric. And I'm gonna grab black, my, it's my model line brush I'm using, and I'm going to keep this relatively small and maybe do a circle and tap to hold. And I'm just gonna fill it with black. I'm gonna grab a new layer
So I'm gonna bring in my drawing guide in order to assist me on finding the center. So the center would be a little off to there. There we go. Now we have a banner and I'm just gonna clean up those edges. Fill that in. So now we've got just filled in areas for stickers. And since we saved our um, uh, insert photo, we're gonna grab that and it became the full size of our uh, artboard because it was the same size that we started with. And I have uniform selected. And I'm just gonna place this over that washi tape first. And I'm gonna move this down. Actually, I'm gonna duplicate this before I start messing with it too much. And so now I hid that layer. So I only have that single layer right here visible. And now I'm going to select it and use clipping mask. And so there I have it on my washi tape. Now to move this around, because maybe it's not exactly where you want it, you can select it and play with it that way. And there we have some fun washi tape. So I'll leave that one there. This one here I'm gonna duplicate again and I'm gonna bring it up above this banner and open the layer first. We're gonna do clipping mask and put that wherever you want that. Now the other thing you can do is rotate this around. So that's a really easy way to create your very own pattern paper. And it's, well, it's not technically a pattern because a pattern is repeating, but it is a beautiful paper um, for you to play with and create on your own and then create your own images and washi tape and stickers to now put into your GoodNotes app. Well, I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.